Hydrangeas belong to that wonderful group of plants that we call traditional southern plants for the landscape. We've been using these big mop head hydrangeas in our gardens for many, many generations. They're among the most beautiful shrubs we have for blooming in partly shaded areas. Now they are deciduous, they drop their leaves in the wintertime, and they're one of the few shrubs that do drop their leaves that we will accept into our gardens. And again, that's because of their amazing beauty when they bloom here in late April and May. Now the hydrangea I'd like to show to you today is a wonderful new hydrangea called Penny Mac. And the Penny Mac hydrangea is simply outstanding for Louisiana. It's a Louisiana super plant selection for spring 2012. It has a wonderful, nice, compact shape, grows to be about four to six feet tall and about four feet wide. The flower heads, as you see, are large and attractive, and they may be pink if you grow them in alkaline soils or blue if you grow them in acid soils. Now that occurs because of the availability of aluminum ions. In acid soils, aluminum ions are available to the plant to absorb, and when the aluminum gets in the flowers, it makes them blue. Now in alkaline soils, the aluminum is available. If you want pink hydrangeas to be blue, you can use aluminum sulfate, mix a tablespoon per gallon, and drench the plants with that in March, April, and May. If you want blue hydrangeas to be pink, you can always mix some hydrated lime, a tablespoon per gallon, and drench that in March, April, and May. So locate these in a lovely shaded area of your landscape, and you'll enjoy these Penny Mac hydrangeas for many years to come. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.